Okay, so here we're asked to express this in simplest radical form. Now, that just means take each of your radicals and break them apart so you've kind of pulled out all the perfect square factors. So let's look at 3 times um, ra radical 75 or 3 times the square root of 75. Well, if I break this apart, I can think of it as 3 times radical 25 times radical 3. And all I did there was factor out radical 75 into these two factors. And a big idea here is that if you have some number a times b, it must equal the product of the square root, or the root of a times the root of b. So here if I have radical 75, I can think of it as the product of the square roots of any two of its factors. Now, if you have a hard time doing this, you can always take the prime factorization, right? 25 times 3 and 5 times 5. And what's nice about the prime factorization is it always helps you find perfect squares. When you reach your prime factors at the end here, notice we always get 5 times 5, which is a perfect square. So for tougher numbers, or if you're not 100% sure that you've found all the perfect squares, use the prime factorization to identify any perfect squares that might be hidden in the factors of your number. Because now what happens is that we can break this down because square root 25, right, that's just 5. So we have 3 times 5 times root 3, which is equal to 15 so root 3 or square root of 3. Now the next one we can look at is right here, radical 27. Well, that's equal to what? Well, that's equal to radical 9 times radical 3. And that equals what? Well, radical 9 is 3 times square root of 3. And now if we rewrite this fraction, look what happens. We have 15 radical 3, that was radical 75, plus 3 radical 3, that's our numerator, right, all over 3. So I'm going to solve the numerator first. I think of this almost like, um, it's almost like we have 15x plus 3x. That would be what? Well, that would be 15 groups of something times 3 plus 3 groups of something, right? We're adding these groups. We have 18 groups of something. Well, here you have 15 groups of radical 3 plus 3 groups of radical 3 would be 18 groups of radical 3 over 3, right? From right here, this 3. So now we have 18 times root 3 divided by 3. We can think of that as 18 over 3 radical 3, which is equal to 6 radical 3, and that's my answer. Thanks.